mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and this is Reigns. And you would not bloody believe the difficulty I've had trying to get something to record tonight. <laughs> Jesus wept. Okay, let's just get started on the game. The basic game is... Cross. You're given two choices, pick one, try not to die. It's not a complicated game. So, for example, we should trade with the Orient. Orient, we can offer the crown, 10% of the profits made, I can either go with no, or yes. Uh, the boxes at the top indicate to what degree that's going to affect me, so let's go with no. If I select no, then what's going to happen is something will happen to the cross religion on the far left. If I go with yes, something will happen to the cross, the people, that's the population obviously, um, the knife is the army and the dollar sign is the treasury, if any of that wasn't obvious. So if I do, so if I say yes, something will happen to the religious um, population, population, I don't know, the power of the church, something will happen to the population of the people, and something bigger will happen to the money. So basically money's going to go up, the other two are likely to go down. If I go with no, I guess the church will go up. That's basically the gist of it. So obviously, yes, there you go. Silk Road Spice Trade has the treasury every year. You have a chance of ang you have more chance of angering your neighbours though. Okay. Anyway. So this is basically just something to do in the background. Doesn't really matter. Sure. Hunt some wild pigs. Yeah, sure. And I'm bleeding. Great. So let's get a doctor. Oh, okay. Intervene on me, I don't want to die. And I lost a lip. Okay. I'm just gonna pause just for a moment just to talk about what's going on in general, okay? So, as I have uh, briefly mentioned, I've had the devil's own job getting anything to record today. Something, every time I've tried to record some, um, record, one of the programs I've needed to record it with has died. Audacity has died several times, Bandicam has died several times. The various different games I've attempted to record have all died at different times. I don't really care. Yes, whatever. No. Yes, it's just background stuff, as I said. Uh, so, as I said, everything playing silly bugger, that's completely reset my computer. I wouldn't be annoyed if I've been doing other things on my computer all day. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, the army died and then everyone took me over. Neat. Okay. So, I'll be annoyed, as I was saying, if I've been doing other things on the computer all day. Unfortunately, I've been working all day. This is literally, I turn my computer on specifically to do recording stuff. Oh, I recorded just fine. Neat. I actually play the game properly in a minute. I was trying to get this off my chest there. Cool, okay. Sure, um. Oh. Okay. Apparently I got so much money I bought a massive cask of ale and then fell in it and drowned, I guess. Or dissolved? Jesus, who knows. Anyway. So yeah, I literally turned my computer on for the sole purpose of recording stuff and everything is just playing silly buggers on me. Now. The perceptive of you who, uh, you know, regularly follow this channel, all both of you, may have noticed I haven't... Um, uploaded many videos this week. In fact, this is the only video I will have uh, uploaded. Well, it's the only thing I've recorded in the last seven days. There is a reason for that, because I was working on a, uh, a bigger video, something similar to... Um, and I'm dead. Something similar to... What was it called? Ah, the analogy of the tap dancer. There we are. Uh, so that sort of background... Record something um, beforehand and then add video to it rather than trying to do both at the same time like I'm doing now. Is the video I was making was called The Five Stages of Brexit Party Grief. Now, I know it's another Brexit video, but this wasn't one, this one wasn't actually about Brexit specifically. It was about the Brexit Party and how the Brexit Party is horrible and awful and stupid, and the fact that it's in any way do being successful is terrible in every single conceivable way. The problem was the last part of the video was intended to be 
telling people... I have no idea what's going on anymore. We're supposed to be t um, telling people to get out and vote in the European elections, because poor turnout... Poor... Poor turnout... <laughs> poor turnout tends to be um, working Farage's favour. The only reason UKIP did so well in the previous um, European elections, because nobody bothered turning up to vote, except people who supported UKIP, so they did really well. Um... And I think the last part of the, the last part of the video was basically telling people to go out and vote for that. Or well, was after getting several days worth of work into it, it became apparent there was no way I was going to get this video done in time to actually matter. Well, to to come out before the European elections, at least any reasonable time frame beforehand. So now I've basically got to rewrite the entire ending and try and make it a work as a standalone video rather than specifically about the European elections. Um, so yeah, that's kind of had to go on hold for a little while. Ah, sorry, she need a drink. Now, the other thing that's worth mentioning is that for the next um, nine days or so at the time of I'm currently recording on Saturday the 25th. Whatever day this video goes up, I've no idea. But from this Saturday till a week Sunday, I'm working basically every day. So I won't be able to bring out as many videos as I would like in that <laughs> time span either. So, this is basically an apology for not giving you anything to watch over last week, and an apology for giving you very little to watch in the next one. And, as I said, I want to rant about how awful my computer has decided to be to me today. I've just been gambling for God knows how long with what I can only assume to be a flipping jester. And I don't seem to be doing too badly. This is bizarre. Okay. So, yes. Apologies in 17 ways. And hopefully I will still get the five stages of Brexit Party grief out. I've just got to, as I said, rewrite what acceptance is. I'm pretty sure I can get away with what I've done for... Um, oh, Christ, what are the other ones? Denial, anger... Uh, bargaining and depression. I think all of those will still stand alone. But I said I need to rework acceptance to uh, to make the whole video work. Uh, so that's, that's it. Whatever, I give up. I raise you. Wait, what? I won, but this luck is going to kill you. Yes. Okay, God knows what just happened there. Oh, okay. So, oh, I managed to get my money all the way to zero, but I won. But that's completely filled my coffers up, so I got the drowning in. Jesus wept. Okay, this is madness of the highest order, this game. So, what was I, I was talking about the Brexit part. Let's just have a, a recap over the whole country situation, because what the hell? Uh, save people, whatever. I say, I, I, I will not pretend to be paying... Oh, I died already. Jesus, that was quick. I will not pretend to be paying attention to any of this game just for the moment. Uh, because I kind of want to have a little rant about... Oh, a dog. Yay, like the dog. Yeah, let's go to the forest. Right, orange mushroom. I'm gonna eat the mushroom. Ooh. From now on, you will know precisely, more precisely, how your decisions affect the kingdom. Is that good? okay? Oh, so now I've got numbers, and I will know exactly what they do. Oh, that is so cool. Neat. Oh, righty. So, yes, current events. Theresa May has quit, or is going to quit, and all of the people. Um, who are looking to replace her are just terrible. Oh, Jesus, everything's gone to question marks. Oh, Jesus. Right, let's have a look. They want to walk into the cartel, they want the approval. Yes, money goes up. Cool. Yeah, sure. Um. Yeah, all, all the people who seem to be wanting to replace Theresa May are either stupid, or have really stupid ideas, or both. So the biggest problem I've got is that most of the ones that are likely to succeed are hardcore Brexiteers. Which there's nothing inertly wrong with that, except for the fact that obviously I object to Brexit. But the problem is that all of the, um, the people who seem to be likely to win 
just have really bad ideas about what to do about Brexit. They seem to think they can either somehow clap their hands and have a magical New Deal appear, which is of course absurd because the EU are not willing to renegotiate the deal. They have said this is our deal, they take it or leave it, so trying to renegotiate at this point is a moot point, it's not going to happen. Or they seem to think that somehow we could survive and flourish even on a no-deal Brexit, despite the fact that is objectively the worst of the possible options. Anyone who has done anything involving the... Um, oh, let's go. A anyone who's done any anything involving economics, who has looked at the potential advantage and disadvantage of a no-deal Brexit, have all said, yeah, it's going to completely screw us. This includes the Brexit party. One of their... Um, candidates suggested that it would take 30 years thir that's, you know, 30, three decades, a third of a lifespan to recover from the effects of a no-deal Brexit. And these are people who support a no-deal Brexit. I'm just going to keep kicking this door. Let me get in. Open. And I want you to think about that. A child who is born on a no-deal Brexit We'll basically get to around middle age. Well, not quite middle age. My age, more or less. We'll get to my sort of age before the problem caused by a no-deal Brexit has got back to where it is. That's when it gets back to zero. And then it's got to recover from there. Which, it's absurd. I will cover why this, exactly how stupid this is in the, uh, the Brexit video. Uh, Brexit party video. But the fact that a number of the, the um, candidates for our Prime Minister seem to be in favour of an overall Brexit is stupid. A, as, as I said, it's a stupid idea, but the other stupid part of it, the Tories are a minority government. Anything they try and do still needs to go through Parliament, and if Parliament are against it, then well, we're screwed. They can't get anything through because Parliament will just vote it down. It's not like um, sometimes where they could just say, yes, we know that nobody else in the room likes this, but there's 51% of this room on our side, so we win because we tell them they have to vote that way. I'm just ranting. I'm sorry, I'm just... <sighs> Politics is annoying. Government is stupid. Brexit is just terrible in every way, shape or form. By the time this whole thing's sorted, it's going to be September. Because, I mean, Theresa May's got to stand down. That's going to be early July. Then they've got to go through the process of electing a new one, a new um, leader. Then that leader's actually got to do stuff. And there's a summer recess for the, uh, the House of Commons as well. What on earth is all this gibberish? Oh, God, nice. We died, whatever any of that was. So, yeah, they've got to get a new leader after July. Or, uh, no, not July, June. That could take a while. And then they've got the summer recess. And by the time they get back and actually get started on Brexit stuff again, it's going to be September. And we've only got till the end of October. Brexit is stupid. Right. Enough of that. 15 minutes in. I've just been messing around on this game. So, let's have at least one round where we try and do something. Why is that king in love with that dagger? Who knows? Right. Okay. So, let's just have the last five, ten minutes of this game properly. The man claims the recent epidemic of dysentery was in God's plan to bring love to the world. Strange way of going about it, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Right, so if I say yes, the church is going to go up. We say no, the church is going to go down. They're all pretty even at this point, so it doesn't really matter. Meet the clumsy prophet. I don't know if there's any abyss. Okay. Get, go away. Right. Okay, so the clumsy prophet has come in as a result of... As a result? I don't know. So we'll see. Brother, pray with me. Angel sent me signs of his will and it's not looking good. The beast. It's a private throne. What sign? Okay, let's find out what his signs are. Oh god, it's going down. <laughs> Wherever I go, everything crumbles and dies horribly. I bring the devil to fortify our father's faith. 
Oh, okay, so he's not... He's not with the church, he's, the, he's with the, the Satanism church. Okay. Yeah, sure, what the hell? Is that radius? This is contagious, this heretic needs to burn. Yeah, sure, burn him, why the hell not? Reluctantly, the executioner takes the prophet away. Nick, I was resurrected to spread the words of joy and love for God in this crumbling country. Wait, I thought he was supporting the devil. Now he's supporting God. Okay. Not my fault, he tripped on a... <laughs> Not my fault, he tripped on a guard with a torch, resulting in burning of the... Okay, so we went to execute him. He managed to trip up a guard, burn down the thing we were going to execute him on. So it's not that he's been resurrected, he just didn't die properly. So, I either swear, or I just sort of concernedly smile. Yeah, let's see where this goes. My lord, the wolves are eating our children. Can we hunt them? I will hunt them myself. You're bluffing. Okay, so I say, say I'm, if I think he's bluffing, everything goes to sodomy. If I hunt them myself, nothing happens? Okay, let's find out. You've suffered a terrible accident during the hunt, you're bleeding some... Oh, okay, so I bugged myself. So, if I say, let me rest, something happens to everything that's major. If I go get a doctor, a little thing happens to them. Let's see what the major thing is. Oh, Jesus, everything's made of death. That's what happens. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if there's actually... I think that's the second time in this uh, playthrough that I've done the whole... Die in a hunt thing. Uh, yeah, sure, let's pay the soldiers, that makes sense. Oh, hello! That's a wolf. What? I think I missed something in my earlier ranting. Oh god, okay. I opened a trendy tavern near the harbour. Will you graciously loan me some money? Yeah, sure. While doing my research, I designed a rather clever way to steal alcohol. I would like to share the revenue. Yeah, I've just spent a lot of money on everything, so yeah, let's do that. My lord, what about a bit of fencing? I'm a good teacher. Let's bet a bit of money. Yeah, sure. I'm going to attack you. Okay, I can't remember how the fighting works in this. So, I think if I say, you will try, I charge at him. If I say, when is that, I back away. But I can't remember exactly how these two work together. So let's, let's attack him. Okay, now I'm going to defend. So if, I think if I attack when he def... I have no idea. Let's... Ah, what the hell, let's just keep attacking. I'm going to attack you, in which case I shall back off. Where'd you learn that move? The hospital? It's called Black Death or Angry Boar, which I charged him. Oh, that did something. So he stares intently at me. Are you okay, or you look pale? Uh, are you okay, mate? You will dance in hell. What the hell? He's trying to charm me. And I will laugh, too. All is fair in love and war. Oh, that silly taunt. Ah, that's what he was doing. Yeah, sure. I'm all... Ow! Jesus! He just shot me! You'll do better. Do you want to know how to improve? No, go away. I would like to meet up with some... I don't know what any of that was about. Jesus. I'd like to meet up with some of my scientist friends from the west in your castle. Yeah, sure. The Vikings are attacking us. We should defend our kingdom from the north. Well, yeah, the Vikings are attacking us from the north, and we need to defend them, yeah. My liege, we're under attack. Beggars are invading our streets. Well, what do we need to do? Are we being attacked by beggars? So, okay, if I throw them out, the army is going to gain power. That's going to lose power. I think the church is going to gain power, because I think this is how he's affiliated with the church, given his clothes. Or alternatively, I can let them be. That'll probably lose some, that'll probably lose some, that'll probably gain some. That's getting a bit high. I throw him out. Oh, Jesus, this guy again. You're a miscreant spitting in the face of God. Your priests are a sorry band of pagans, blinking heavily. On guard. I can attack him? Neat! Mind the point of it of your sword. I don't want you to cut yourself before I can skewer you. You mean this bit? <laughs> Okay, I appear to have killed the dumbass. Uh, I'm dying, a faking agony, the king killed me, I'm a martyr. Yes. Oh, thanks to you, I'm now a saint. I'm creating a new church. So I either say yes and something bad will happen, or I say no and something bad will happen. Yeah, alright. Good answer. See, I have a large following already. Yes. 
It's obviously not going to end well. I can't do anything. The church is going through a schism. That's not how you pronounce that word, but never mind. You have to give more power to the priesthood or the backlash will be terrible. Okay, here we go. So if I say yes, this is going to skyrocket. If I say no, it's going to drop. And God knows what's going to happen to those guys. Just realize I'm talking about the church and use the phrase God knows what's going to happen. Okay, never mind. So if I say yes, I'm probably dead. If I say no, something will happen to both. Oh, I started the schism. The church is going through a schism. Okay. Both parts of the church fought for a long time and the result was not really clear. Yeah, that sounds about right. The Queen of the South would like to help us in our effort to repel the invading army. Neat. Yeah, sure. The Kingdom of the South claims you're betrothed to the young princess. Declining may trigger a war. Yeah, sure. I'll get married. Ah, oh, isn't she nice? I am with child. I've only just met you, woman. How would you manage that? Um, I'll give you a sign as my duty, so either I'm not bothered or an air final. Yeah, yeah, neat. Queen Felicia. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. Given birth to a beautiful and healthy son. Who shall be the godfather? The priest or the general? Well, that's not good for me either way. Both are pretty good, pretty powerful already. I suspect I'm going to lose. Um. I don't know. Priest? The Pope's armies are taking control of the Holy Church. This, of our holy country, this is heaven on earth. Oh, I'm a dead. Oh, they want to kill you. You run panicking to the castle. Oh, okay, I'm back in the crypt of despair. Alright, let's go for an explore. Welcome to the dungeon. Uh, here we go. Oh, not much I can do. Okay, two exits, so carry on or carry on. Go on then. Oh! So I've got a door of air and a door of arsenic. Uh, let's go through the arsenic door. Skeleton cries or laughs in. He has a long sword. Tacky boy. Right. It's very rude to visit with someone without bringing strawberries. Okay, I'll get you some next time then, buddy. Oh, okay, it's the same question again. You're not talking much for someone who's alive. Like, uh... I'm shouting. A skell, singing, a worm, a rat, dancing, the king, a mage, a son. Silly taunt. Oh, Jesus, wet. That silly taunt seems basically useless. Why is that a thing I can do? I bleed to death on the filthy dungeon floor. Well, this is certainly a thing I have spent the last 20 minutes doing. I apologise in profuseness that I, <laughs> this is the best I've been able to do today. As I said, I wanted to do Passport 2. That's what I wanted to start with. Something nice and relaxing. And everything just went to buggery. At every possible opportunity. And then I ranted about gibberish for several for half the video. Oh well, I've made something. I've explained what's going on. I've given you something to look at. And I've tried to be vaguely entertaining. I haven't succeeded. I'm sorry. I'm just going to keep drinking this. Whatever this is. My god, I love alcohol-free cider, which I'm sure is an oxymoron, but it tastes nice. Alright, I'm a dumb. Bye.